Hi, it's Carrie and Andrea from Big Wise Living Well Eating Smart Program. We're here with Dave Plazic, Big Wise Honey Buyer, and we are here for our local love in Southwick, Massachusetts with New England Apiaries, the home of Billy C's Raw Honey. We're here with Bill Crawford to tell us a little bit about this amazing honey operation. So Bill, how did you get involved in this? I was around five or six years old when I uh, found uh, my love and passion for insects, uh, playing with them, collecting them, <laughs> uh, raising giant silk moths. And when I was 14 or 15, my father brought home a flyer for the Hamden County Beekeepers Association. And I participated in their bee school and I started with one colony. And now I run almost 1,300 colonies. Wow. So how did you go from being a hobby beekeeper to a processor? When I graduated college in 2012 uh, from Westfield State, uh, I was looking around for the different job options I had and took a position at a friend of mine's father's friend's farm in South Dakota. <laughs> worked there for almost two months and then I went and worked for another beekeeper in Pennsylvania and Florida for two years before I broke out onto my own. When we talk about local honey, yep. you know, the difference between local process and local bottled, you know, what's the difference? So locally, local honey would be honey that's uh, produced in a general area. Um, so for us, it's uh, honey that we produce honey in Massachusetts, Connecticut, and New York. Uh, locally packed might be just a, uh, some individuals or an individual that buys honey from an area. It might not necessarily be local honey and packs it into a jar and packs it locally. All right, so how can we learn more about your operation? Well, come with me, let's suit up and go check out some beehives. All right. Actually, we got Ultra Breeze suits here. They're like the Cadillac of bee suits. So now it's the end of October. Our goals this time of year is make sure they have enough food and the smoke calms the bees, it interferes with their um, communication and um, makes it uh, like a knee-jerk or a reaction like they think they can smell also that a, uh, maybe a forest fire is coming. Now if that's the case, what do you want to do if you, uh, you know a fire is coming? You want to gather as much resources as you can and leave. So if you have to build a new home, you have the materials. So when they get uh, a little bit of smoke blown into them, into the colony, they eat. In about a week, week and a half, um, these colonies will be on a truck headed down to southeast Georgia near Waycross, Nahunta area. It's near the Okefenokee Swamp. And then they'll be there for the rest of the winter and they'll come back in the spring. This is our honey extracting system. It takes the frames with the, where the honey is located out of the boxes or the honey supers. It uncaps them. The conveyor brings it up to the honey extractor and from there, the wax and the honey is separated. So what are these tanks for? What do you use them for? So we dump the honey into the tanks. It's heated to about 105 degrees. From there, it's pumped through a filter where it removes large coarse debris like wax uh, from the honey. And from there, it's sent to the next room where we actually put the honey into jars. Bill, we had such a great time today learning about your bees and the honey production, but we have one more question for you. So what accounts for this beautiful color variation? Is it because it's raw honey? It's actually, it's because of the plants that the bees go to. Some plants produce a light color honey, some plants produce a dark honey. Our product is all raw. It's raw honey, it's not flash heated to preserve shelf life. And it's something that we know that the consumers really uh, look forward to. Thank you so much for this tour today, Bill. We learned so much. Oh, you're more than welcome to come back anytime. And thank you for checking out this series of local love here in Southwick at Billy C's. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for the Living Well Eating Smart page. And head down to your local Big Y, pick up some Billy C's honey.